Title. Exploring the art of speech, different types of speeches. Opening shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to explore the world of different types of speeches. Host, with enthusiasm. Welcome back to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to explore the art of speech and the various types of speeches that can be delivered on different occasions. Whether you're a student, a professional, or simply someone who wants to enhance their speaking skills, understanding these speech types is essential. Slide 1. Types of speeches. Speeches come in many forms, each tailored to serve a specific purpose or occasion. Let's dive into the world of speech types. Visuals. Montage of people delivering different types of speeches. Speech type 1. Informative speech. An informative speech is designed to educate and inform the audience about a specific topic. 1. Purpose. To share knowledge, facts, or insights. 2. Examples. TED Talks, educational presentations, lectures, visuals, demonstrations of informative speeches. Speech type 2. Persuasive speech. A persuasive speech aims to convince the audience to adopt a particular viewpoint or take action. 1. Purpose, to influence opinions, beliefs, or behaviors. 2. Examples, political speeches, marketing presentations, advocacy talks. Visuals, demonstrations of persuasive speeches. Speech type 3, inspirational speech. An inspirational speech is meant to inspire and motivate the audience by sharing powerful messages or personal stories. 1. Purpose, to uplift, encourage, and empower. 2. Examples, commencement addresses, motivational talks, TED Talks. Visuals, scenes from inspirational speeches. Speech type 4, entertaining speech. Entertaining speeches aim to amuse, engage, and entertain the audience through humor, storytelling, or creative expression. 1. Purpose, to make the audience laugh or captivate their interest. 2. Examples, stand-up comedy, storytelling performances, humorous speeches. Visuals, examples of entertaining speeches. Speech type 5, special occasion speech. Special occasion speeches are delivered during significant events or milestones, such as weddings, graduations, or award ceremonies. 1. Purpose. To celebrate, honor, or commemorate an event or individual. 2. Examples. Wedding toasts, eulogies, acceptance speeches, visuals, demonstrations of special occasion speeches. Each type of speech serves a unique purpose and requires a different approach. Whether you're informing, persuading, inspiring, entertaining, or marking a special occasion, effective communication is the key to success. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. End with an engaging outro screen displaying the course name and a call to action to subscribe and stay updated. Title, Mastering Communication Skills. A Comprehensive Guide. Opening Shot. A well-lit studio with a friendly host standing in front of a professional backdrop. Host, with a warm smile. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a brand new course that will transform the way you communicate. Whether you're a seasoned professional looking to enhance your skills, or someone just starting out, this course is designed to help you master the art of communication. Cut to a brief montage of people in various communication scenarios a job interview, a couple having a conversation, a teacher in a classroom, a business meeting. In today's digital age, effective communication is more important than ever. From personal relationships to professional success, your ability to convey your thoughts, ideas, and emotions can truly make or break your endeavors. So, let's begin this journey by understanding the very essence of communication. Transition, the host gestures to a whiteboard. In this first episode, we'll delve into the fundamentals. Let's start by defining what communication really is. Slide 1, definition of communication. Shot of the host writing on the whiteboard. Communication can be defined as the process of exchanging information, thoughts, ideas, or feelings between two or more individuals. It's not just about words, it's about the entire package, body language, tone of voice, facial expressions, and even the context in which the communication occurs. Cut to a clip of a person giving a presentation with confident body language and clear speech. Effective communication goes beyond just talking. It's about ensuring that your message is received, understood and, ideally, acted upon. Transition. The host turns to the camera. But why is communication so important? Slide 2. Importance of communication. Cut to an image of a thriving business team. Well, think about it. In the professional world, 
strong communication skills can lead to better teamwork, enhanced productivity, and career advancement. Cut to a family scene with smiling parents and children. In our personal lives, it's the foundation of healthy relationships. From resolving conflicts to expressing love and empathy, effective communication can strengthen bonds with our loved ones. Transition. The host returns to the whiteboard. So, as we embark on this journey to master communication, keep in mind that it's a skill that can be learned and improved upon. In the upcoming episodes, we'll explore various aspects of communication, including verbal and nonverbal cues, active listening, and even overcoming common communication challenges. Slide 3. Course Outline. Here's a sneak peek at what's to come in this course. Quickly list the topics, verbal communication, nonverbal communication, active listening, conflict resolution, and effective presentation skills. By the end of this course, you'll have the tools and knowledge to become a confident and effective communicator in any situation. Closing shot, the host smiles and waves. So, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button comma, and let's embark on this exciting journey to master the art of communication together. Title, The Process and Elements of Communication Explained. Opening shot, the host standing in front of the camera, ready to delve into the topic. Host, with enthusiasm. Welcome back, everyone, to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of communication. Specifically, we'll explore the process of communication and the key elements that make it work. Slide 1, the process of communication. First things first, let's break down the process of communication into its essential steps. Visuals, a simple flowchart or diagram showing the communication process with arrows and labels for each step. Step 1. Sender. This is where it all begins. The sender has a message to convey. It could be a thought, an idea, information, or even an emotion. Visuals. A cartoon-like depiction of a sender holding a message. Step 2. Encoding. The sender encodes the message, turning it into a form that can be communicated. This could be spoken words, written text, body language, or even a combination of these. Visuals, the sender now shown writing a letter, speaking into a microphone, and using expressive body language. Step 3. Message. The encoded message is now ready to be transmitted. It's like packaging up your thoughts and emotions and sending them off. Visuals, a message being placed in an envelope and sent off. Step 4. Channel. The message needs a channel to travel through. This could be face-to-face -face conversation, a phone call, a text message, or any medium that allows the message to reach the receiver. Visuals, various communication channels, such as a phone, computer, and in-person interaction, are shown. Step 5. Receiver. Here comes the other key player in the process, the receiver. They're the ones who will receive, decode, and interpret the message. Visuals, the receiver eagerly awaiting the message. Step 6. Decoding. The receiver deciphers the message using their own knowledge, context, and personal experiences. Visuals, the receiver shown reading a letter, listening to a conversation, and thinking about the message. Step 7. Feedback. To ensure effective communication, the receiver provides feedback to the sender. This could be verbal or nonverbal cues, clarifying questions, or a response. Visuals, the receiver nodding in agreement, asking a question, or responding positively. And that, my friends, is the communication process in a nutshell. But there's more to it than just these steps. Slide 2. Key Elements of Communication Now let's take a look at the key elements that make communication effective. Visuals. A list of key elements appears on the screen as the host discusses each one. Element 1. Message. Your message should be clear, concise, and tailored to your audience. Avoid jargon or ambiguity. Visuals. Examples of clear and unclear messages. Element 2. Sender. Be mindful of your credibility and how your message may be perceived. Your tone body language, and credibility matter. Visuals, a confident sender and a less credible sender. Element 3, receiver. Understand your audience's background, preferences, and needs. Adapt your message to resonate with them. Visuals, a sender adjusting their message for different audiences. Element 4, feedback. Actively seek and provide feedback. It's a two-way street that ensures mutual understanding. Visuals, an exchange of feedback between sender and receiver. Element 5, context. Consider the environment and context in which the communication takes place. It can significantly impact how your message is received. Visuals, different contexts, such as a casual chat and a formal meeting. So, there you have it. The process and elements of communication. 
Understanding these fundamentals will help you become a more effective communicator in both your personal and professional life. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next installment of our communication skills course. Title, Mastering Verbal Communication. The Art of Words. Opening shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to delve into the topic of verbal communication. Host, with enthusiasm. Hello dear viewers. Welcome back to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to unlock the secrets of verbal communication, the art of using words effectively to convey your thoughts and ideas. Slide 1. Verbal Communication. Verbal communication is perhaps one of the most powerful tools we possess. It's not just about what you say, but how you say it, when you say it, and to whom you say it. Visuals, images of people engaged in various forms of verbal communication, conversations, presentations, speeches. Let's dive right in and explore some key aspects of verbal communication. Slide 2. Key Aspects of Verbal Communication Aspect 1. Clarity When communicating verbally, clarity is paramount. Your message should be easy to understand, free from jargon, and organized. Visuals contrasting examples of a clear and unclear message. Aspect 2. Tone and Pitch The tone and pitch of your voice convey emotions and intentions. A friendly tone can make a world of difference in a conversation. Visuals, examples of different tones and their impact on communication. Aspect 3. Volume and Pace. Adjusting your volume and pace can help you emphasize important points or create a calm and engaging atmosphere. Visuals, demonstrations of speaking loudly and softly and speaking quickly and slowly. Aspect 4. Active Listening. Verbal communication isn't just about talking. It's also about listening actively. Give your full attention to the speaker and ask clarifying questions when needed. Visuals, examples of active listening. Nodding, making eye contact, asking questions. Aspect 5. Nonverbal cues. Remember that your body language and facial expressions often speak louder than words. They can either reinforce or contradict your verbal message. Visuals, examples of congruent and incongruent nonverbal cues. Aspect 6. Cultural sensitivity. In a globalized world, it's crucial to be aware of cultural differences in verbal communication. What's considered polite in one culture may be offensive in another. Visuals, cultural examples of greetings and communication styles. Aspect 7. Empathy. Show empathy in your verbal communication by acknowledging the feelings and perspectives of others. It can create a deeper connection. Visuals, scenes of empathetic conversations. So, as you can see, Verbal communication is a rich and nuanced skill. By paying attention to these key aspects, you can become a more effective and empathetic communicator. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title, The Power of Nonverbal Communication. What Your Body Says. Opening Shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to explore the fascinating world of nonverbal communication. Host, with enthusiasm, welcome back to our communication skills course, everyone. In today's episode, we're going to unlock the secrets of nonverbal communication, the silent language that speaks volumes. Slide 1. Nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication is a language of its own. It includes everything from your facial expressions to your body movements and even the way you use space and touch to convey meaning. Visuals, montage of people engaged in various forms of nonverbal communication, smiling, gesturing, nodding, etc. Let's jump right in and explore the key elements of nonverbal communication. Slide 2. Key Elements of Nonverbal Communication Element 1. Facial Expressions Your face is a powerful communicator of emotions. A smile can brighten someone's day, while a furrowed brow can signal concern. Visuals, demonstrations of various facial expressions conveying different emotions. Element 2. Body language. The way you hold yourself, your posture, and your gestures all convey messages. It can make you appear confident, approachable, or even defensive. Visuals, examples of different body postures and gestures and their interpretations. Element 3. Eye contact. Maintaining eye contact shows that you're engaged and attentive. It's a sign of respect and interest in the conversation. Visuals, demonstrations of good and poor eye contact in a conversation. Element 4, proximity and personal space. How close you stand or sit to someone can communicate intimacy, comfort, or the need for personal space. 
Visuals, examples of different interpersonal distances. Element 5, touch. Physical touch can convey a wide range of emotions, from affection to comfort to reassurance. Visuals, demonstrations of appropriate and inappropriate touch in different situations. Element 6, vocal cues. Even when you're not speaking, your voice can reveal your emotions and intentions through tone, pitch, and speed. Visuals, examples of vocal cues conveying different emotions. Element 7, appearance. Your clothing, grooming, and overall appearance also communicate information about you and your personality. Visuals, demonstrations of how appearance can convey different messages. So you see, nonverbal communication is incredibly powerful. It often complements or even overrides the words we speak. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title, Tenets, and Barriers of Communication, Mastering the Art. Opening shot, the host stands in a well-lit room, eager to explore the crucial tenets and common barriers of effective communication. Host, with enthusiasm. Welcome back to our communication skills course, everyone. In this episode, we're going to dive deep into the core principles, or tenets, of communication, as well as the barriers that often hinder the process. Slide 1. Tenets of Communication Tenet 1. Clear Message The first fundamental principle of communication is clarity. Your message should be concise, unambiguous, and tailored to your audience. Visuals, examples of clear and unclear messages. Tenet 2. Active Listening Effective communication isn't just about talking. It's about listening actively. Give your full attention to the speaker. Visuals, demonstrations of active listening. Nodding, maintaining eye contact, paraphrasing. Tenet 3. Empathy. Show empathy by acknowledging the feelings and perspectives of others. It creates a deeper connection and trust. Visuals. Scenes of empathetic conversations. Tenet 4. Feedback. It's crucial to seek and provide feedback to ensure mutual understanding. Clarify any doubts or misunderstandings. Visuals. An exchange of feedback between sender and receiver. Tenet 5. Consistency. Your verbal and nonverbal cues should align with your message. Inconsistencies can confuse your audience. Visuals, examples of congruent and incongruent nonverbal cues. Now let's talk about the common barriers that can hinder effective communication. Slide 2, Barriers to Communication. Barrier 1, Noise. External noise, distractions, or even internal mental noise can disrupt communication. Visuals, examples of different types of noise. Barrier 2, Language and Jargon. Using language or jargon that the audience doesn't understand can create confusion. Visuals, demonstrations of effective and ineffective language use. Barrier 3. Emotional barriers. Strong emotions like anger, fear, or anxiety can cloud your message and make it hard to communicate effectively. Visuals, examples of emotional barriers in conversations. Barrier 4. Cultural differences. Cultural nuances and differences in communication styles can lead to misunderstandings. Visuals, examples of cross-cultural communication challenges. Barrier 5. Lack of feedback. Failing to seek or provide feedback can lead to assumptions and misunderstandings. Visuals, illustrations of communication without feedback. By understanding these tenets and being aware of these barriers, you can become a more skilled and effective communicator. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. End with an engaging outro screen displaying the course name and a call to action to subscribe and stay updated. Fade out. Note, customize this script to align with your YouTube channel's style and branding. You can also enhance the content with visuals, examples, or personal anecdotes to make it more engaging and educational for your audience. Title, Mastering the Art of Speech Writing, Principles for Powerful Presentations. Opening Shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to explore the principles of speech writing. Host, with enthusiasm. Welcome back to our communication skills course. Today, we're going to dive into the art of speech writing and share the fundamental principles that can help you craft powerful and impactful presentations. Slide 1. Principles of speech writing. Speech writing is a craft that combines the art of storytelling, persuasion, and engagement. To create memorable speeches, you'll want to keep these principles in mind. Visuals, montage of people delivering speeches and captivating their audiences. Principle 1. Know your audience. 
Understanding your audience's needs, interests, and expectations is paramount. Tailor your speech to resonate with them. Visuals, demonstrations of audience analysis. Principle 2. Define your purpose. Clearly define the purpose of your speech. Are you informing, persuading, inspiring, or entertaining? Visuals, examples of defining speech purposes. Principle 3. Structure your speech. Organize your content with a clear introduction, a well-developed body, and a memorable conclusion. Visuals, demonstrations of speech structure. Principle 4. Craft a compelling opening. Grab your audience's attention right from the start with a captivating opening hook. Visuals, examples of attention-grabbing openings. Principle 5. Tell a story. Stories have the power to engage and resonate with your audience. Weave personal anecdotes or narratives into your speech. Visuals, demonstrations of storytelling in speeches. Principle 6. Use rhetorical devices. Employ rhetorical devices like metaphors, similes, and repetition to make your speech more engaging and persuasive. Visuals, examples of rhetorical devices in speeches. Principle 7. Be clear and concise. Avoid jargon and unnecessary complexity. Your message should be clear and easy to understand. Visuals, examples of clear and concise language. Principle 8. Use vivid language. Paint mental pictures with vivid and descriptive language to make your ideas come alive. Visuals, demonstrations of using vivid language. Principle 9. Engage the senses. Appeal to your audience's senses through sensory language and storytelling. Visuals, scenes illustrating sensory engagement. Principle 10. Practice, practice, practice. Rehearse your speech multiple times. Familiarity with the content boosts your confidence. Visuals, scenes of speech rehearsal. Principle 11. Seek feedback. Get input from peers or mentors to refine your speech and delivery. Visuals, scenes of feedback and evaluation. By following these principles, you can craft speeches that inform, inspire, and leave a lasting impact on your audience. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title. Types of speech and preparations for public speaking. Opening shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to delve into the world of different speech types and how to prepare for public speaking. Host, with enthusiasm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our communication skills course. Today, we're going to explore the various types of speeches and share some essential tips on how to prepare for public speaking. Slide 1. Types of speech. Speeches come in many forms, each with its unique purpose and style. Visuals, montage of different speech scenarios. Speech type 1, informative speech. This type of speech aims to educate the audience about a specific topic or provide them with new information. Visuals, examples of informative speeches, TED Talks, educational presentations. Speech type 2. Persuasive speech. Persuasive speeches are designed to convince the audience to adopt a particular viewpoint, belief, or action. Visuals, demonstrations of persuasive speeches, political rallies, marketing presentations. Speech type 3. Inspirational speech. Inspirational speeches inspire and motivate the audience by sharing personal stories, wisdom, or powerful messages. Visuals, scenes from inspirational speeches, commencement addresses, motivational talks. Speech type 4, entertaining speech. Entertaining speeches aim to amuse, entertain, and engage the audience through humor, storytelling, or creative expression. Visuals, examples of entertaining speeches, stand-up comedy, storytelling performances. Now that we've covered the types of speeches, let's move on to the crucial aspect of preparing for public speaking. Slide 2, Preparations for Public Speaking. Preparation is the key to delivering a successful speech. Here are some essential steps to consider. Visuals, the host lists, and discusses each preparation step. Step 1. Know your audience. Understand your audience's needs, interests, and expectations. Tailor your speech to resonate with them. Visuals, demonstrations of audience analysis. Step 2. Define your purpose. Clearly define the purpose of your speech. Are you informing, persuading, inspiring, or entertaining? Visuals, examples of defining speech purposes. Step 3. Organize your content. Structure your speech with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. Use transitions to guide the audience. Visuals, demonstrations of speech organization. Step 4. Practice, practice, practice. Rehearse your speech multiple times. Familiarity with the content boosts your confidence. Visuals, scenes of speech rehearsal. Step 5. 
Manage nervousness. Everyone gets nervous. Use relaxation techniques, deep breaths, and positive self-talk to manage anxiety. Visuals, demonstrations of managing nervousness. Step 6, visual aids. If applicable, use visual aids like slides or props to enhance your message. But don't overdo it. Visuals, examples of effective use of visual aids. Step 7, engage your audience. Interact with your audience through eye contact, gestures, and questions. Keep them engaged and attentive. Visuals, demonstrations of audience engagement. Step 8, feedback and evaluation. Seek feedback from peers or mentors and evaluate your performance for continuous improvement. Visuals, scenes of feedback and self-evaluation. By following these preparation steps, you'll be well-equipped to deliver an impactful speech, regardless of the type. Closing shot, the host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. End with an engaging outro screen displaying the course name and a call to action to subscribe and stay updated. Fade out. Note, customize this script to match your YouTube channel's style and branding. Additionally, consider adding visuals, real-life examples, or personal anecdotes to make the content more engaging and relatable for your audience. Title. Types of speech and preparations for public speaking. Opening shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, ready to delve into the world of different speech types and how to prepare for public speaking. Host, with enthusiasm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our communication skills course. Today, we're going to explore the various types of speeches and share some essential tips on how to prepare for public speaking. Slide 1. Types of speech. Speeches come in many forms, each with its unique purpose and style. Visuals, montage of different speech scenarios. Speech type 1, informative speech. This type of speech aims to educate the audience about a specific topic or provide them with new information. Visuals, examples of informative speeches, TED Talks, educational presentations. Speech type 2, persuasive speech. Persuasive speeches are designed to convince the audience to adopt a particular viewpoint, belief, or action. Visuals, demonstrations of persuasive speeches, political rallies, marketing presentations. Speech type 3, inspirational speech. Inspirational speeches inspire and motivate the audience by sharing personal stories, wisdom, or powerful messages. Visuals, scenes from inspirational speeches, commencement addresses, motivational talks. Speech type 4, entertaining speech. Entertaining speeches aim to amuse, entertain, and engage the audience through humor, storytelling, or creative expression. Visuals, examples of entertaining speeches, stand-up comedy, storytelling performances. Now that we've covered the types of speeches, let's move on to the crucial aspect of preparing for public speaking. Slide 2, Preparations for Public Speaking. Preparation is the key to delivering a successful speech. Here are some essential steps to consider. Visuals, the host lists, and discusses each preparation step. Step 1, Know your audience. Understand your audience's needs, interests, and expectations. Tailor your speech to resonate with them. Visuals, Demonstrations of audience analysis. Step 2. Define your purpose. Clearly define the purpose of your speech. Are you informing, persuading, inspiring, or entertaining? Visuals. Examples of defining speech purposes. Step 3. Organize your content. Structure your speech with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. Use transitions to guide the audience. Visuals. Demonstrations of speech organization. Step 4. Practice, practice, practice. Rehearse your speech multiple times. Familiarity with the content boosts your confidence. Visuals, scenes of speech rehearsal. Step 5, manage nervousness. Everyone gets nervous. Use relaxation techniques, deep breaths, and positive self-talk to manage anxiety. Visuals, demonstrations of managing nervousness. Step 6, visual aids. If applicable, use visual aids like slides or props to enhance your message. But don't overdo it. Visuals, examples of effective use of visual aids. Step 7, engage your audience. Interact with your audience through eye contact, gestures, and questions. Keep them engaged and attentive. Visuals, demonstrations of audience engagement. Step 8, feedback and evaluation. Seek feedback from peers or mentors and evaluate your performance for continuous improvement. Visuals, scenes of feedback and self-evaluation. By following these preparation steps, you'll be well-equipped to deliver an impactful speech, regardless of the type. Closing shot, the host smiles and waves.
Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title, Effective Communication Strategies, Mastering the Art of Connection, Opening Shot, the host stands in a well-lit room, ready to explore various effective communication strategies. Host, with enthusiasm. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to delve into the world of effective communication strategies, techniques, and approaches that can help you become a more skilled and confident communicator. Slide 1, Effective Communication Strategies. Effective communication isn't just about words, it's about understanding and being understood. Let's explore some essential strategies. Visuals, montage of people engaged in different communication scenarios. Strategy 1, active listening. Actively listen to what others are saying without interrupting. Show empathy and ask clarifying questions to ensure mutual understanding. Visuals, demonstrations of active listening. Nodding, maintaining eye contact, paraphrasing. Strategy 2, empathy. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. Understand their feelings and perspectives to build trust and connection. Visuals, scenes of empathetic conversations. Strategy 3. Nonverbal communication. Pay attention to your body language, facial expressions, and tone of voice. They often speak louder than words. Visuals, examples of effective nonverbal cues. Strategy 4. Clear and concise language. Use clear and straightforward language to convey your message. Avoid jargon and complexity. Visuals, Examples of clear and concise language. Strategy 5. Visual aids. In presentations, use visual aids like slides or props to enhance your message. They can make complex information more accessible. Visuals. Demonstrations of effective use of visual aids. Strategy 6. Adapt to your audience. Tailor your communication style and content to your audience's preferences, needs, and cultural background. Visuals. Demonstrations of audience adaptation. Strategy 7. Use stories. Stories are powerful tools for engagement and conveying messages. Weave personal anecdotes or narratives into your communication. Visuals, examples of storytelling in communication. Strategy 8. Feedback loop. Encourage open feedback and dialogue. This helps clarify misunderstandings and ensures everyone is on the same page. Visuals, scenes of feedback and dialogue. Strategy 9. Conflict resolution. When conflicts arise, Use effective communication to address issues, comma, find common ground, and seek mutually beneficial solutions. Visuals, demonstrations of conflict resolution through communication. Strategy 10. Stay calm under pressure. In high-stress situations, maintain your composure and choose your words carefully. Effective communication can diffuse tense moments. Visuals, demonstrations of staying calm under pressure. These communication strategies can be applied in various contexts from personal relationships to professional interactions. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title, Effective Communication Strategies in Various Speech Situations. Opening shot. The host stands in a well-lit room, prepared to explore effective communication strategies for different speech situations. Host, with enthusiasm. Welcome back to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to dive into the world of effective communication strategies in various speech situations. Whether you're giving a formal presentation, engaging in a debate, or having a difficult conversation, these strategies will help you communicate with confidence and impact. Slide 1, Effective Communication Strategies in Various Speech Situations. Let's explore these strategies, tailored to different speech scenarios. Visuals, montage of people in different speech situations. Strategy 1. Formal presentations. In formal presentations, such as at work or in academic settings, consider these strategies. 1. Structure your content, organize your speech with a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. 2. Visual aids. Use visual aids like slides to enhance understanding. 3. Practice rehearse multiple times to boost your confidence. 4. Engage the audience. Use eye contact gestures, and questions to keep your audience engaged. Visuals, demonstrations of these strategies in a presentation. Strategy 2, debates and discussions. In debates and discussions, effective communication can help you express your viewpoint convincingly. 1. Research, be well informed about your topic. 2. Listening, listen actively to your opponents to respond effectively. 3. 
Structure your arguments. Organize your points logically. 4. Stay calm, maintain composure, even in heated discussions. Visuals, demonstrations of effective communication in a debate. Strategy 3. Difficult conversations. Difficult conversations require empathy and sensitivity. 1. Active listening. Give the other person your full attention. 2. Empathy. Show understanding and compassion. 3. Use I statements. Express your feelings without blaming. 4. Stay calm, manage emotions, and avoid escalating tensions. Visuals, demonstrations of effective communication in difficult conversations. Strategy 4. Public speaking. Public speaking engagements demand a special set of skills. 1. Engage your audience. Use anecdotes, humor, or questions to connect. 2. Control nervousness. Practice relaxation techniques. 3. Visualize success, mentally prepare for a successful speech. 4. Use pauses. Allow moments of silence for impact. Visuals. Demonstrations of effective communication in public speaking. Strategy 5. Negotiations. In negotiations, comma, communication can make or break a deal. 1. Prepare thoroughly. Know your goals and limits. 2. Active listening. Understand the other party's needs. 3. Win-win solutions. Seek mutually beneficial outcomes. 4. Be patient. Negotiations can take time. Visuals, demonstrations of effective communication in negotiations. By mastering these strategies in various speech situations, you can become a more skilled and adaptable communicator. Closing shot. The host smiles and waves. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course. Title, Strategies for Successful Group Discussions, Enhance Your Communication Skills. Opening shot, the host stands in a well-lit room, ready to explore effective strategies for group discussions. Host, with enthusiasm, welcome back to our communication skills course. In this episode, we're going to delve into the world of successful group discussions. Whether you're in a team meeting, a brainstorming session, or a group project, these strategies will help you communicate effectively and make the most of collaborative efforts. Slide 1. Strategies for group discussions. Group discussions are essential in various settings, from business meetings to academic projects. Let's explore these strategies to excel in group discussions. Visuals, montage of people engaged in group discussions. Strategy 1. Preparation and research. Before the discussion, prepare by researching the topic or agenda. This helps you contribute meaningfully and stay informed. 1. Know the agenda. Understand the purpose and goals of the discussion. 2. Research, gather relevant information and data to support your points. 3. Be informed. Stay up to date on related topics and trends. Visuals, demonstrations of preparation and research. Strategy 2. Active listening. Listening is just as important as speaking in group discussions. 1. Give full attention. Focus on the speaker without interrupting. 2. Ask clarifying questions. Seek clarification when something is unclear. 3. Paraphrase. Summarize what others have said to show understanding. Visuals. Demonstrations of active listening. Strategy 3. Effective communication. Effective communication ensures that your message is clear and well-received. 1. Speak clearly, articulate your points, and avoid mumbling. 2. Avoid jargon, use plain language and explain technical terms. 3. Be concise, keep your contributions relevant and to the point. Visuals, demonstrations of effective communication. Strategy 4. Engage and participate. Active participation keeps the discussion dynamic and productive. 1. Share ideas. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts and suggestions. 2. Encourage others. Acknowledge and appreciate contributions from others. 3. Stay on topic. Keep the discussion focused on the agenda. Visuals. Demonstrations of active participation. Strategy 5. Respect and constructive feedback. Respectful communication and constructive feedback are key to a harmonious discussion. 1. Respect opinions. Even if you disagree, show respect for differing opinions. 2. Give constructive feedback. Provide feedback that helps improve ideas. 3. Avoid personal attacks. Keep criticism focused on ideas, not individuals. By applying these strategies in group discussions, you can foster collaboration, creativity, and effective decision-making. Thank you for joining us in this episode. If you found this information valuable, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, so you won't miss the next part of our communication skills course.